I'm Jason. And this week we're very excited to let you know that we are currently in Salt Lake City. We are attending the RVX conference here. So if you're wondering what RVX is, it is an event put on for the RV industry and it is a trade only show for RV suppliers and manufacturers to come together and kind of show each other their new innovations and products and what will be coming out in the RV world in the next coming year. So you're probably wondering, why are you there? <laughs> so we were actually able to get media passes and we will be basically just walking around, trying to get in touch with these companies, get information on their new products, and just show you guys some really cool stuff. We're so excited to see what is gonna be happening here this week. Yeah, we heard that there's a ton of new RVs that are being released here. There's the Campground of the Future by KOA and tons of other tech. So we're excited to go see it, so let's go. Alright guys, we have made our way over to the Salt Lake City Convention Center where the event is taking place. We got our media passes and we just sat down for a three hour opening ceremony where they just talked about what's going on in the industry and how where they expect the trends to be going in the next coming years. This event is put on by RVIA and Go RVing, so they brought in some judges that broke RVers into nine different categories and just rated RVs within that category. So they announced their top nine RVs that have been created and they fall into luxury RVs, innovation, uh, eco-friendly. It was a really cool event. So three hours actually flew by. But now they officially opened the hall and we are able to go check out the RVs and the suppliers and all the new products. So let's go. All right, so you knew we weren't gonna come to this show and not visit Grand Design. So we are actually in the new 2450 RL. It's an Imagine. And we just really wanted to check it out really quickly before we go look at a bunch of other vendors. Of course, we had to come and say hi to everyone here as well in our GD family. So I'm just gonna show you this really quickly. So this is your kitchen space. And then your two reclining chairs. I actually, Jason pointed this out, he loves that they still put a counter here and you can use that space. And here is the dining area, which looks like that table comes down. This converts into a bed. Here is your TV area. And then circling all the way back around is the fridge back over to the kitchen. And then over here is the bathroom, which this was kind of a new thing. I've never seen this before, but it looks like glass, but it's not. So it's the Nautilus retractable door. And then moving on to the last room, which is the bedroom. This looks like a queen but very cute in here and enough space. So 
anyway that is the new imagine so we just wanted to quickly show that to you and we're moving on in this trade show All right, it's day two here at the RVX Expo. Yesterday, we just kind of got a lay of the land. We met with a couple people that we never met before and just kind of explored the entire event, which it's huge. Today, we're starting here at Moor Ride because we have the slide out tray in our Grain Design 375 that we love. And uh, they have a couple cool things here. One is this kitchen here that goes in your slide out. You pull it out, it has a TV built in, a uh, fridge, and it even has a quick connect um, stove here. So you can just be out here grilling. Good to go in like 10 minutes, right? Just pull it straight out of your under storage. Another thing is uh, they're showcasing if you have a toy hauler and you wanna use that outdoor patio, they have this new system that kind of gives you shade and it's a patio cover to keep the bugs out and keep the rain off. Well, we don't have a deck on our unit, but for those of you that do, you should definitely check this out. Alright guys, we're in the Wi-Fi Ranger booth and we found some cool tech that you might be seeing at the end of this year, but we wanted to give you just a brief little demo. So this is now the new Wi-Fi Ranger that you can talk to. So I'm going to give it a try. It is kind of loud in here, but hey Ranger, turn on your light. <laughs> there you go. So it's going to do uh, a lot more than just turning on and off lights. It'll help you find your TV signal and it will be connected to your coach uh, in multiple different ways. And it will even have a search functionality if you need to ask it how to lower your jacks or how to do something specific in your rig. So I think this is very fun technology. So keep an eye out for this from Wi-Fi Ranger. So we're here at the sea level gauges manufactured by Garnett booth. And I don't know about you guys, but our sensors never work. Very, very slim. So here you have the sea level gauges. They stick on your tanks. So if we use some of this water, you can see it's filling up in the black tank here. I don't know about you, but that looks a lot better than one light, two lights. I like to see a lot more information there. So make sure you check out sea level. All right guys, we actually polled some of our audience on Instagram to hear what you wanted to see when we were at RVX, and a lot of you answered with solar. So if you follow us on Instagram or on our YouTube channel, you know that we really don't have any experience with solar, but we did want to fulfill that request. So we stopped here at Zamp Solar and we talked to the people here and they gave us a ton of information, which I will not properly regurgitate, but I'm going to do my best. So Zamp Solar seems really cool because they're manufactured in Oregon. So it's USA made and they have what appears to be really cool technology of how you can 
start off with a little solar and if you want to keep adding to your unit they make it really easy to do that so with all of their plugs and the different options you won't have to keep rewiring or taking out old systems and putting in new systems you can actually just continue to add on to the current solar you have so they have everything from roof mount mounted solar panels which is behind me to foldable solar panels that you can just put out in the sun and plug right in so for example our grand design is solar prepped we do have a wire for the portable solar so we could just like right now take a ZAMP solar panel plug it into our rig and it would start charging our batteries the batteries that we don't have <laughs> but that's basically what I mean by the portable ones they're normally really easy and a lot of RV manufacturers are coming solar prepped now so solar doesn't have to be as complicated as it used to be so they have everything ranging from 90 watt to 170 watt and then a couple panels that are even higher than that so if you're going to look into solar, I would definitely check out Zamp Solar. They seem like a really cool company and yeah, so I guess we're just going to keep moving on the show. We decided to stop at B&W while walking the floor because we realized we never talked to you about our hitch. We haven't done an in-depth video about it or really even mentioned it, I feel like, in any vlogs. So we just wanted to quickly show you that when we bought our truck, we were so lucky. Jason got under there and was uh, cleaning underneath and he wiped a little bit of dirt off and he saw B&W and this is the turnover ball, so this came in our truck. So our previous owner obviously towed a few things himself and knew what he was doing because he picked a fantastic brand. So this actually mounts into the undercarriage of your truck and you just have your gooseneck ball sticking out in the middle, which then is what we put our companion hitch on. So I'm gonna show you the companion hitch right now. So this is the companion hitch. This is the hitch that we have in our truck and we absolutely love it. It is so sturdy, it is so strong, and we feel really safe when towing. We didn't want to risk towing a 16,000 pound RV and not having the connection, like the most important part of towing, be insecure. So. This is the hitch and it yeah, connects down here to the gooseneck ball and that is the connection. A lot of people think you have to screw this hitch into the bed of your truck and you can't take it out and it's there forever. That is not true. This hooks onto our gooseneck ball and if we want to take this hitch out, it is a couple hundred pounds, it is hard, but if you do need to use the bed of your truck and you want to take it out, you can easily do so. guys we stopped at the camco booth because we absolutely love their products and they have their seasonal items which is called life is better at the campsite they've sent us some to do giveaways on our instagram account so definitely make sure to follow our instagram account in the future because we are doing those giveaways soon and make sure to follow the camco instagram account because they are showing all of their new products that they release constantly. They have over 4,000 products currently and they are releasing more every single month and anyway if you couldn't tell we love the brand. So in the booth chit-chatting with some of the folks here they were actually kind enough to offer to do a giveaway right now in the middle of our vlog. So they are going to do a giveaway of the four-piece dinnerware set which is so cute with all of the RVs on it and four of their coffee mugs. 
which are adorable. I cannot wait to get my hands on some of our own. So to enter the giveaway, all you have to do right now is comment down below, life is better at the campsite. And we're giving additional entries for those of you that go over to Camco's Instagram account, which is at CamcoNet. I'll put a link in the description of the box as well. But we'll give you uh, entries if you go to their Instagram account, give them a follow and comment on their latest <laughs> picture. So go ahead and get to commenting and we'll randomly select a winner in a few days after this video is released and let you know who won the coffee mugs and the dinnerware set. stopped at the Battleborn booth here at RVX. As you know from our dry camping video and our first boondocking video, that we have had some struggles with our battery setup. So we have met with Sean and Dennis from Battleborn. We had a great conversation and they have now offered to do a consultation on camera. So we will be making a new video for that. So. Thank you guys so much. We're very excited to have this consultation and if you have any questions, you can actually leave them in the comments and we'll try and throw it in there. That's a good idea. Yeah, but we will be sitting down, going over our system, what we would need, what kind of setup we would need to actually function and not suffer during our next boondocking experience. So thanks again. Yeah, we appreciate you guys stopping by. So yeah. Thank you, it was really nice meeting you guys and uh, I just want to let you know, you don't have to worry about that battery anxiety anymore. We're going to take it all away. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, so stick around. We'll see you in Reno. Woohoo, right. Reno! Thank you. We'll see you in Reno. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We are winding down here at day two at RVX. And we decided we wanted to see just some really fancy stuff. So we stopped at the Newmar booth. We wanted to just show you this coach for fun because it's really pretty. This is the 2019 Newmar Dutch Star. And as you can see, it is a full slide that is the entire length of the coach. Like literally starts right here. <laughs> you can show them and goes all the way down. And we're normally not a fan of really dark interiors, but I really love the contrasting colors in here of the white furniture and the dark trim. So, I mean, we'll just quickly show you because it's just like a fun little thing, but uh, I don't know how much of our audience is interested in class A's or do you guys drive class A's? So we just decided to show it to you. So. Take a look. <laughs> oh, they're locked. <laughs> There's a whole different world of Class A's. <laughs> That's a big fridge. So you have one toilet here. Looks like a half toilet. Yes. And then... Oh my gosh. I actually didn't... <laughs> So granted, we walked into this coach. We didn't even walk all the way back because we were like, let's film, it's really cool. And I actually didn't even know. I thought this was the full bath. There's an entire, another bathroom back here. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Whoa. Is that another bedroom? <laughs> There's a whole other bedroom in here. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, there is a safe in here. That's cool. Wow. Look at this shower. I know, what the heck? And the cedar stool. Yeah, it looks like a spa in here. Look at this. <laughs> oh, double vanity. That's very nice. <laughs> oh, look at this bed. So the other thing I really like is the complete flat slide to floor. Yeah. Like there is barely a lip. 
Y'all push down? Yeah. Oh, it's double. That's cool. This, how, okay, I need to look at the specs to see how long this is because this feels like it's like 60 feet long. How much is it? How much money is it? Yeah. <laughs> The base price is 409000 <laughs> and it comes in 12 different floor plans ranging from 40 feet to 43 feet. So those of you expensive Class A enthusiasts, this should really get you going. All right, well, time to, to start our hike out of here. I know. I'm glad that we decided to show this to you and you got to see all those surprises with us. So we're gonna wrap up day two here. We are so tired. We're gonna grab some dinner and hopefully get a good night's rest for day three tomorrow. It's day three here at RVX. We've been walking around the floor a little bit more this morning. Things have slowed down a little bit. However, we're looking that as a good thing because now we're going to be able to explore the other sections without hopefully getting too caught up or waiting to talk to people. So. We are obviously at the Grand Design booth right now. We have stopped here every day because obviously we love Grand Design, but we really won't be showing you too much more in this video. We did do a walkthrough video, which will be a completely separate video of the new Transcend Explore. So, sorry to keep you guys waiting, but you can stick around for that video uh, in the upcoming month weeks i don't know sorry guys but we're gonna go ahead and head out and see what else we can find here through RVX and we saw this vintage cruiser. We've seen these on the road and I've just been so curious to see the inside. So of course I'm gonna take this opportunity when I have it. So on the outside, they actually have a cute little outdoor kitchen area with a mini fridge and let's just peek inside. How cute is this interior? It matches the outside. I don't know why, but when I saw these, I never thought that that would be a thing. So you have your kitchen area, a U-shaped dinette that is actually in a slide. And right behind you there is a couch. And this is actually a Murphy bed of your a little fridge in here as well as a TV and for such a small camper I was surprised to have this size of a bathroom so you have your full shower here your restroom and then a lot of storage space so I just felt like I needed to show you guys this because I've been dying to see one on the inside so I'm sure some of you have too so let's keep going We're here in the Winnebago section. We're finishing up day three. It's really slowing down here at the RVX. We just did a walkthrough of this accessible Winnebago Forza, and it's really awesome for those out there that, that need an accessible model RV who are in a wheelchair. So make sure to look for that video in the next coming week. So we're gonna go ahead and see what other vendors that are still here, even though they're starting to close down. So let's go check them out. We 
are now up in the media room because we're fancy like that. But we just left uh, Eric Sells booth. You probably know them because they make Max Air fans, but they are coming out with new technology to be able to control your air conditioners. Very similar to if you've ever seen those in-home Nest thermometers. It's similar technology to that. So we're actually really excited about that and we are eager to see that product come out because we want to try and figure out if we can get that in our RV after market. Vendors are starting to tear down. RVX is coming to a close. There is one more award ceremony tonight that we will be attending, but we're probably not gonna take you along because we're just gonna hang out with friends and spend some time trying to actually relax our feet and my lower back. They're so sore, so I feel like we walked 800 miles in the last three days. This event was really fun, really exciting for us to see some of this new technology, and we hope that you found it interesting as well and are keeping your eye out for some of these products in the future too. So obviously with such a big event, we were not able to cover everything, so we wanted to let you know that our V geeks were here, Morton's on the move, driving and vibing, the freedom theory, so, Go check out their channels as well because hopefully between all of us, we would have been able to cover a huge chunk of the RVX Expo for you. So the lights just went off over here. I don't know if you saw them go off behind me, but that was perfect timing because RVX is officially over. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join our getaway gang. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Bye guys. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, oh, you ready? Yeah. All right. And it looks like it's really easy to set up um, with air. So hopefully, we get to check that out later. I don't know. We're in the right. Start over. It's a Class A Dutchman 2019, right? Dutch Star. Dutch Star. What Newmar did I say? Dutchman. Dutchman's a different company. Newmar. What? Dutch Star. <laughs> Newmar Dutch Star. That? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What is it? Dutchman. Newmar Dutch Star. Okay. Are you close enough? <laughs> Oh wait, don't. Ready. Are you recording? Yeah. We just did a walkthrough of the Winnebago accessibility. No. All right, we're here in the Winnebago. Winnebago. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're gonna head back and. All right, guys. 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 We're in the. All right, guys. All right, it's. All right. All right.